I did my first running race about what, three or four years ago. I did the bath half, uh, probably many of you are familiar with it, and I actually hated it every second. I like running now though, I love it, it's great. Um, I'm no athlete, but running really gives me so much joy in my life. Um, I've done a few races since um, that first one, but I always remember that bath half and think, how did I make it through? How did I make it through that race? How did I get through 30 miles when it was awful? And I was thinking about this and thought, actually, I realise it's the hope of the finish line. It's knowing that um, it will end, there's what's ahead. And I haven't finished any races lately. I haven't crossed any finish lines, any virtual ones. Um, but remembering that finish line reminds me of what Jesus said as he died. Jesus died, hung on a cross, and he shouts out, It is finished. Jesus' life is over, um, but his work is complete as well. His job is finished. And this is what's so amazing. So as Jesus died, he, he makes a way for all people to know God, to know the God of the whole universe. And that's really what gives me hope. That's the really important finish line. See, forget these finish lines of races or whatever, but this is the real finish line for Christians. Because Jesus defeated death once and for all, the finish line for those who follow Jesus isn't death, but it's to live forever with God. <laughs> That's my hope. That's where I'm headed. And so I think for us all, there's such hope knowing that there's an end to like this slog of of life and especially after this year we've had we all need to know that so this easter why not take a look at who jesus is and what he did on the on the cross this hope he gives me could be the hope that he gives you too